Hello everyone! Welcome to Mr. J's Learning Hub. For today's lesson, we are learning about odd and even numbers. Mr. J will have his lesson in math. He wanted to ask the students to work in pairs, but he realized that there is only five students in his class. Oh no! Someone will be left out! Mr. J decided to change his plan, but suddenly, another student came. Yay! There are six students and no one will be left out. They can now work in pairs. Did you know that whole numbers can be called odd and even? In our story, there were five students who came first in Mr. J's class. So, when he decided to ask the students to work in pairs, one will be left out. It means that Mr. J's class is in an odd group. But when one more student comes, they can work in pairs because they are now even and no one will be left out. The numbers that have one left over when divided by two are called odd numbers, like 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, and so on. When these numbers are divided by 2, they have 1 left over. On the other hand, the numbers that make pairs are called even numbers. No one is left out when an even number is divided by 2. For example, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and so on. When these numbers are divided by 2, they have no left over. It's activity time! Are you ready? Tell whether the number is odd or even. In our first set of numbers, we have 12, 25, 16. Let's check your answers. 12 is even, 25 is odd, and 16 is even. Did you get it right? Fantastic! Here's the second set of numbers. 54, 18, and 43. Let's see if you'll get it right. Are you done? Okay, let's check. 54 is an even number. 18 is also an even number. And 43 is an odd number. Well done! Take note! Look in the ones place to tell if the number is odd or even. Odd numbers have 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9 in the ones place, while even numbers have 0, 2, 4, 6, and 8 in the ones place. Got it? Awesome! I hope you enjoyed our lesson today. For more video lessons, just click subscribe and the notification bell to be updated. See you again for our next lesson. Bye!